I, uh, I hope my colleagues don't mind if I uh, take a few moments to uh, sort of reminisce a little bit. Uh, I know it's um, probably not hard for you to imagine that even as a kid I was kind of wound a little tightly and was pretty intense and had a chip on my shoulder and in my little uh, sort of big fish in a small pond at St. Dorothy's was a little bit of a tough guy so at our graduation after spending nine years with my classmates when I started to cry uh, actually started to bawl my eyes out my classmates were shocked and they started to cry and then the parents are all of us crying and they started to cry and I, I don't want to have a, um, a Brett Favre moment here but I just, um, I've been here for 22 years, uh, first seven as a staffer and then 15 as a member. And it's, uh, it's been the blessing of my life. And I've been thinking about how I could capture and explain to each and every one of you uh, what this has been like and, and show my appreciation. And I keep coming back to one story and it's, it's kind of difficult. Um, from the moment I was a staffer, I always found stated meetings to be just this adrenaline rush. Uh, it's always been s such a great day here, the energy, the protests, the press conferences. And even when I was a staffer, I used to bounce in and out of this building. And I used to say to Connie Tinney, the great Connie Tinney, let me see what kind of trouble I could find. And one state of council meeting 10 years ago, for some reason I didn't do that. And I spent most of the day, uh, most of the morning in my office, and when it was time to come on the floor, instead of making the left outside of the minority leader's office and coming straight into chambers, I made a right, and I took the long way down, went down the stairs, went past room nine, saw our friend Jeff Rode is sitting on the bench, I remember slapping him in his knee, and I walked past a few steps and I heard rat-a-tat-tat -tat. and it was a fraction of a second but you try to process it and I it sounded to me like when you have folding chairs that they slide and they hit one after another and the next image I have in my mind is being down the hall with the door in front of me heading to the basement um, survival instinct takes over I was gonna get out of there and get to safety and then the next thing I know, I was running up the stairs to where that noise came from, to those glass doors over there. And I, Carl always yells at me that uh, I, was, I opened the door and was yelling at Speaker Miller to get out, and he was telling him to stay down. I tell you this story not because I think it's particularly heroic. Um, I tell you this story because I did what each and every one of you would have done if someone came into your home and was threatening your family. And that's the gift that you all have given me. I never had hatred in my heart, but I had my fair share of ignorance. And you guys have stripped that from me. And I come from a place, I had a great childhood, but I came from a place that I looked like everyone, everyone looked like me, I sounded like everyone, everyone sounded like me. And I walk out of here, and the, some of the people I'm closest to aren't white, aren't Catholic, aren't straight and um, you've taught me to be a better person and for all the frustrating moments I've had in this body uh, what you all have given me is uh, an absolute gift and I hope uh, in my next uh, chapter in my life there's somebody that I work with with the energy of RJ I hope I get to work with people who are inherently good human beings as Leroy Comrie and Annabelle Palmer. I hope I work with people who have the passion of Jimmy Gennaro. I hope I have a friend who I could go to whose advice is always sound, who I respect immensely, who I can speak to about the most serious things and then in a dime switch and talk about rotisserie baseball like Lou Fiddler. I hope I have someone who challenges how I think the way Charles Barron did. And I will close my thank yous uh, with two people. Uh, to my best friend in this body, uh, the, the consummate team player, a person who made this job even more fun when it was fun and made it bearable when it was unbearable, uh, that's Vinny Ignizio. And to uh, Christine Quinn, my friend for 20 years, for 14 months I had to hear 
every one of your faults and every one of your weaknesses on the radio, on TV, and in person. And I want you to know that you are smart, you are funny, you are good. And my only wish for anyone in this body is for them to have had the blessing of being your friend as you have given to me. And I know you have great things ahead. And I want to thank you for everything you've done for my district. And I want to thank you for making me um, a better person. So God bless each and every one of you guys.